Hi everyone, welcome to Five Good Minutes. I'm Tom Blefko. Well, I think anybody in the real estate business today knows that we are in an absolutely crazy market. It's very, very competitive, very low inventory levels. Buyers are out there trying to get into it, position themselves as best they can to try to get the property they, that, that they want in most uh, instances with multiple offer situations. Well, I'm going to share with you as a buyer's agent 10 strategies that you can put into play today that will assist your buyer hopefully get the property of their dreams. So number one, set the stage with the buyers right up front. Take some time and explain what kind of market we're in. Keep in mind, we know the market because we're living it every day, but they really don't when they're entering the market for the first time. Explain to them what the average days on market is. Explain to them what the original list price to sale price is right now. By the way, it's over 100%, which speaks volumes. Make sure they're aware of this. Number two, I call this speed kills. Most agents, when they uh, are taking a buyer out and looking at property, they wait until they find a property and then they put the paperwork together. I'm saying do it in reverse order. When you meet your buyer, fill out the paperwork right now. Obviously, you can't fill an address or sale price, but fill everything else out. And also, mentally prepare your buyer. Hey, when I get this and I send it to you, electronically make sure you're signing this as quickly as possible so I can get it to the listing agent many listing agents when they are receiving multiple offers and all of these offers are at or close to the top sometimes they look back and they say well who was first in and if you were first in and you're close to the top your odds of getting this property increase number three get your buyer pre-approved instead of pre-qualified there is a difference. A pre-approval is a much more deeper dive with a lender than a pre-qualification. Pre-qualification is nothing more than a cursory look uh, that a lender looks at uh, based upon some basic information that a buyer uh, supplied to them. A pre-approval, they actually do a little investigation. And oh, by the way, when you turn that pre-approval letter over to the listing agent in the agreement of sale that you submit, make sure that they are aware it's a pre-approval not a pre-qualification by the way while we're talking about this number four is if you have access or your buyer has access to cash make sure that's on the table maybe it's not their own maybe it's their parents or a relative that has cash that they can give them so they can purchase this home and then wait till after they get in to get the mortgage cash offers usually trump mortgage offers every time. Keep that in mind. Number five, and this goes along with knowing your market, put your best foot forward first. The days of wiggle room are not what is happening right now. Most buyers in the past will say, well, I want to leave a little, you know, negotiating room. In many instances right now, you don't have the second opportunity to negotiate. They're looking at 10 offers, they're selecting one. Keep that in mind. Number six, show that you are serious with a strong earnest money deposit. Earnest money deposit goes into the broker's escrow account. Make sure that your buyer's aware of that. Some buyers don't know where this money is and they think it's at risk and they're gonna be losing it. It's just to hold the property for them. Make sure they're aware of that. Number seven, keep the agreement clean. For God's sake, don't be putting in the agreement to sell. I want the lawnmower. I want the chandelier in the dining room. That, don't lose an agreement to sale because of those things. And a word of caution here. I know a lot of buyers now are, are missing out on some properties and they have had home inspection clauses in there that maybe has lost them in a previous negotiation and they say to you, hey, let's keep that off the agreement of sale. Keep in mind, explain what the hazards of doing that are. As long as they know what they're up against with the home inspection being eliminated, it's fine. But don't you as a real estate agent encourage them, hey, let's get rid of that. As an alternative, you may want to 
advise them if they're going to get rid of that clause, hey, why don't we consider a home warranty? That'll cover our major components within the home for at least that first year. That's a good alternative. Find out from the listing agent, number eight, what the seller's hot buttons are. Keep in mind, the seller's in the same position as you. Once they sell their home, more than likely, they gotta buy something on the other end. They are in the same boat as you. So it's taking them a little time. It's stressful for them. If you go in with an agreement of sale that says to the listing agent and the seller, hey, uh, we are willing to give you a little bit of time here, maybe as much as six months to try to find the home that you're looking for. Trust me, that'll go a long way with a seller who's feeling stress in selling their home and trying to find another one. Number nine, and this is a key one that I think a lot of people forget about, consider a backup offer. That's right, a backup offer. Suppose you're in a situation where you got 10, 20 agreements, you're one of them, your buyer loses out, somebody else wins, but your buyer really wants this property and may be willing to wait 30 days or 40 days to really find out if, if they can get it or not, consider submitting a backup offer to the listing agent, obviously, uh, with a contingency saying that, hey, this agreement only kicks in if the first one falls apart great situation to be in because if that first one does fall apart guess what they go right to the second one because the seller doesn't want to have to go through this again the listing agent doesn't want to have to put the property back on the market again and deal with another 10 to 20 offers consider that backup offer and number 10 perhaps the most critical of all be nice you heard me right the listing agent once again just like you as the buyer agent you guys have a lot of stress on you right now. Listing agents are under a lot of stress. They're, get, they're getting uh, phone calls and emails from buyer's agents saying, hey, how does my agreement look? When are you gonna be presenting? How, does, how do things look? Uh, what can I do to improve my offer? They're getting all kinds of things from all sides. Understand that, just be nice. Sometimes at the end of the day, the listing agent, while they're sitting in front of the seller, is gonna say, hey, all things being equal, this person was really nice to me on the phone. They seem to be like somebody I could work with to get this to the settlement table. Hopefully you can use one or all of these strategies in your next multiple offer situation. All the best.